In my AP art portfolio, I explored the concept of dreams, both through the Freudian uh, philosophical theory lens and the neuroscientific aspects. So uh, one of the main aspects in all of my pieces, I incorporated some sort of clock element. And this is uh, important to determine which uh, state of sleep that the girl in the portfolio is currently in. Um, because REM sleep, which is when dreams occur, uh, happens approximately every hour and a half during the sleep cycle. So I begin the piece uh, with a drawing of the girl falling asleep. And then I explore common dreams, such as like the falling dream and uh, chasing dream. And I try to include surrealistic elements that really just demonstrate the physical feelings that occur during these dreams. So you can see like a heart coming out of the girl's chest in one of the pieces. And then uh, I also didn't just want to focus on dreams, but also uh, the passage of time in general during the sleep cycle. So I have a piece that demonstrates that. So really, uh, my whole portfolio is just trying to uh, reflect how dreams feel physically and also their potential implications. My name is Reed Lucanville. I am an IB art, and this is my artwork. So I did an ocean theme for this year, and I decided to go. So for this art piece, I did an under, like an underwater world. I got the rainbow fish from the book, um, clownfish for Nemo. This is kind of like representing like my childhood kind of, and um, I don't remember the name of that fish, but so this the underground one. And then right here, this is uh, a painting that I painted in, uh, I think it was, yeah, Clearwater, just an island off of Clearwater. And we went there and I just took a picture of it and painted it. This is a, uh, from the Cayman Islands, just a boat day, and there's, we were just chilling there on the boat, and there's three other boats there, and I just painted that, a little gloomy skies. And then this is resin art, and so what I did was just put resin down on a board, and then just use a heat gun and then move it around, you put different colors and stuff. And yeah, that's basically it. So this is all four of my art pieces, and my theme is faces. Uh, my first piece, I, uh, this is related to where the wild things are, and uh, I just basically did a bunch of pen work and uh, I colored it in with uh, lots of different assorted color of markers. Um, my second piece, I, I went for a more surreal, realistic piece, and this is um, the face is made up of different fruits and vegetables. And then I decided to add in another face, which has um, a lime, an orange, a banana, and a pepper for a mouth. And I used colored pencils for that. Um, for my third piece, this is, um, I just did uh, dark, just black and white pen work. Uh, very intricate weaving of lines and I try to make two faces in this one. Um, as you can see, it's darker around where I uh, made the faces and I made a little owl up here for that one. For my fourth piece, I wanted to make it like about the world and how the emotions of everybody is different. And I used uh, over 40 different colored pens for this one. And I wanted to center it around like the earth and basically how everybody's feeling. My name is Will Holmes, I'm an IB art. Um, for my theme, I went with nature. Um, and all of them, they're landscapes of places I've been to with twist. Um, the Great Lake, I got this from Lake Superior, a beach I went to up north. Uh, I used acrylic on an eight by 10 canvas. And then for this one, it's called Early Bird, also acrylic eight by 10. Um, I got it from a picture from a lake up north and I went fishing there. And then this one, Mach Whale, it's a uh, Swahili for sunset. Um, I got, I was inspired by it from The Lion King, the movie, so I decided to paint something from it. And then this one, Frigid Cabin, it's a cabin up north that I go to and I made it ice themed. I wanted to make all the trees look like they were covered with a layer of ice. I'm Kaylee Bombi and these are my art pieces. I chose to do mountains with different lighting to just show like different textures of the mountains while they are getting pictured. And for a couple, I did 
just black and white with mechanical pencil on just mixed media paper. Then two I did with acrylic paint and for the technique I did with the acrylic paint, I just used a stippling with heavy paint. And then for the black and white ones, I just did them with more shading to show the depth and lighter spots to add the snow coverage. So my overall theme was just mountains and I wanted to just show the different lighting because I, I enjoy looking at mountains and just like different feelings you, you give when you see them with like sunsets or just bright lights. So I just wanted to present that through artwork. Hi, my name is Peyton Van Pelt and my theme for my body of work is the new generation. So basically I just made artwork on topics that were discussed a lot during the past year 2020. So the uh, first one I got here is about like police brutality. So I kind of decided to represent it in like a, a objective way where you could see where you can kind of like make peace instead of like uh, violence and then I did this one for the politics and I just did the two sides like fighting over the American flag to show like how it um, affected America overall and then over here I got this piece where it's about climate change and how that's affecting the world and then my last piece down here brings all of them together and it shows like a student that had to go to a virtual online school and she's focus or she's struggling to focus while all these things are going on around her. I'm Sophia Castelluzzo. I am both an AP and IB student. For my AP theme, I did um, essentially the process of being lost in your own head. So it goes from spacing out to basically kind of hallucinating, seeing magic throughout the world and starting to infect the world around you and finding yourself more important than the world around you and the um, more comforting isolation of it and the more uncomfortable isolation of it. For my IB theme, I just chose a simple theme and was just decided to do people. So there's no really thought behind anything. It's just doing figure drawings and portraits of references I've, I've taken. My name is Amelia Awaki and my theme is farm life and farm living. So my grandma lives on a farm in Indiana and that was the main inspiration for my entire collection. So this first piece is her on her farm and it's been in our family for almost 200 years. And um, this next piece was inspired by um, a split rail fence like this that is that runs along her property line and she has cows and um, there's often really beautiful sunsets and the skies are something that really um, stands out when we're down there. And then um, over here, this was inspired by um, stories that I've heard about my um, great grandpa. He also grew up on the farm and um, he often spent long days out on the field and this is called a break in the bales because um, I imagine that's what it would look like when they're taking a break from the farm work. Uh, this next piece is a barn swallow and um, my grandma has lots of, uh, she has about four barns on her property and uh, there's always swallows swooping down and um, we see little nests and um, things like that. And then um, next I have, um, to, for a little bit of contrast, um, what her farm would look like in the winter. And um, there's just a red barn on this sloping um, sloping hill and I put that next to this quilt because um, the reds kind of pop and then um, this quilt was just inspired by um, Amish um, culture which is actually very prominent down there 
and there's lots of Amish um, farms and stores around where she lives. And then this next quilt was also inspired by Amish culture and um, just a very simplistic design and but kind of makes it interesting the whole pieces together. And there's actually a piece of my grandpa's shirt in here. And I put that next to this paint or this drawing um, specifically just to kind of draw this together. And um, I never actually got to meet my grandpa, but um, I thought that would be kind of special to um, connect him in that way. And then this painting is um, kind of what the farm looks like um, in the evening, uh, kind of a sunset glow and everything turns one color, kind of monochromatic. And then this last piece is um, also inspired by Amish culture and it is um, a girl kind of letting her hair down because Amish culture is very strict and they often wear, you know, long clothes and have their hair up in a um, bonnet. So this kind of um, just kind of shows that feeling of letting her hair down. I'm Sophie Swift and this is my art. So for three of my pieces, the theme was the journey of like falling into a depression, of someone's journey of falling into a depression. And those three pieces are done in acrylic. And then for this piece right here, it's supposed to be a take on Frida Kahlo's art. Um, she does a lot of self portraits. So I copied her, not copied, I mimicked her style and did it with myself instead. My name is Emma Hall and my body of work, um, my theme was my influences growing up and just growing up in a time period when bright colors and Disney Channel, like that era was very prevalent. So my first piece, which I titled Fantasy, it kind of reflects the Disney era and Tinkerbell and how that influenced me growing up. Um, so I chose to do acrylic on just uh, cardstock paper and I used gel pens to do little details for the sparkles on her dress and her wings. And then my next piece is called Blinding Eyes. Um, I really liked makeup growing up and anything that was sparkly or colorful I loved to experiment with so that kind of reflected that uh, part of my life and I used colored pencils on tan drawing paper for that and then my next piece is called ghost town this kind of represents a part of my life when I wasn't very um, passionate or um, influenced by anything or inspired so that kind of reflects that period of my life and then in contrast to this piece I did this piece called Lively City and as you can see the vibrant colors reflect an exciting time in my life that's filled with passion and it was inspiring so that is that piece and that is my whole body of work. My name is Samantha Witten and the theme that I chose is um, surrealism and my main inspiration for this was Salvador Dali. So these are a few of my pieces. This um, first one that I did is called Emotions and it's basically a bunch of like different faces that I did with pen and they all are looking at each other but they all have different colors and expressions to express like who they are but they're not real faces and that's why it's kind of surreal. And then next I have this one that's called Melting and I originally did the whole vase and everything in color pencil and I went through with some thick acrylic paint to make these melting eggs as the flowers and like that's why it's surreal because eggs aren't in flowers. And then um, other than this, I have this painting, which is the flow of nature, or it's actually a drawing. And it's just, it, this one was more fun for me. It's just um, kind of like expresses like the fun side of surrealism. Like it's just a bunch of random drawings coming together out of somebody's mouth. And then lastly, I have this one, which is called Home. And this is one of the first pieces that I did with acrylic and watercolor. And I think this one shows like my growth well because it was one of the first ones and I had to go through and re-outline it in pen because it was kind of indistinct, but it basically just shows a bunch of elements coming together and it's really surreal. My name's Olivia Spock and my theme was people in society. So for this one, I drew a hand with a chain on it. 
um, it's supposed to represent like society's flaws dragging you down. And then for this one, I drew a little girl with a Black Lives Matter mask um, because of the pandemic and all the Black Lives Matter movements going on right now. And then for this one, um, I drew hands coming together as like a bunch of different races just coming together as one. And for my final one, um, I drew my cousin. I took a picture of her and I drew that um, because she's a really big inf influence in my life and I just felt like I needed to draw her. My name is Darcy Kieran, and the theme of my artwork is dreams and their interpretations. So for my artwork, I decided to take symbols and different elements from different dreams I've had and interpret them in my art. So for example, in this, I had a dream about, say, someone laughing. So I incorporated that with the laughing. And I took inspiration from a character from a show for the hand. Um, in this painting, I actually had a dream about like lava and it's and a snake and so I mixed that together and created that. Um, this one has more just symbols from different dreams I've had in the past and this is just an interpretation of another dream I've had. And then lastly, um, I chose to do a work of art inspired by Salvador Dali because a lot of his work is very dreamlike, lucid, etc. So I took one of my favorite paintings, um, The Persistence of Memory, um, one of the most iconic paintings he's ever done, and did my own interpretation of that. I'm Michaela Maher, and my exhibition, A Tree Hopper's Tale, is about a little tree hopper that um, pretty much goes through, uh, he goes on an adventure and experiences like the ins and outs of growing up and getting new friends and enemies. And I did this kind of thematically by using emotions. And these emotions are um, like expressed through colors and shapes and expressions. So you kind of see like a kind of a movement of expressions and colors in different shapes in each of the, of the um, art pieces that I did, basically. Each of these pieces are done digitally on a program I use called Procreate. And I did most of them on my phone, and um, the last couple of them I did on my tablet. I'm Max Funnels. I am in AP Studio Art, and I chose design for my class instead of going for whatever the other one is. But <laughs> um, my theme for this entire time was man's interaction with nature and vice versa. I wanted to do this on the idea that a lot of people go with man versus nature. Um, so instead of saying they're at odds with each other, I wanted to show how man and nature interact. Um, so with each other. Um, first of all, I wanted to start off with this piece, Sightseeing. Um, it's actually a picture of my brother that I took while I was in Tennessee, and I was working with a newer pencil medium compared to what I was used to. 
Um, this led me to some new discoveries in the medium and allowed me to create a more farther distanced effect in the background. And it allowed me to get deeper gradients within color. So overall, I'm rather proud of this piece. Um, second of which is a piece called Exploration. It's a piece of me and my uncle where we were hiking in Colorado. Um, I really wanted to create this piece to show the real depth and field of the actual piece itself um, and draw the viewer in with the detail in the rocks so that way the trees more, sort of encapsulate you more. Um, then after that I'll go for Sunken Flights. Um, this is a piece that I really wanted to just explore my imagination with. Um, most of these pictures that I do are from pictures I end up taking myself, so having a piece more from my imagination has been a more interesting experience as well. Um, I wanted to show how these are, like the previous two are more so along the lines of man interacting with nature, while this one is nature interacting with man's creation. So, and how a sunken plane will deteriorate over time. Um, this is also showing how we interact with this sunken idea in plane um, in the way that he's just exploring more as something has been deteriorated by man. And finally, I've got my self-portrait. Um, I just wanted to show how man can sometimes use nature as a background for um, the pieces or pictures of themselves to create a greater focus on themselves or showing themselves in the environment. And I left my face blank to kind of show that almost every single person does this or can do it. It's not only limited to me and other people. Um, I also wanted to create a more hazy background to show that the person is the focus rather than the actual background they're surrounded in. For the theme of my art, I decided to do a centerpiece around the isolation that happens during quarantine. And for my pieces, I wanted to focus on what mental illness has come out through quarantine, such as depression. And so all my pieces are through charcoal, and they are supposed to represent the embodiment of when you're at home and how it feels to be outside of your home when you're no longer during quarantine. Hi, my name is Melanie Jackson. I'm a senior this year in AP Art. Um, my theme was toxic love. It's about awareness for domestic abuse and uh, toxic relationships. My first one was called His Game. That is about how people will play games with you and you never know what game that they're playing. Uh, so they just dictate it and you can never win. The next one is called uh, Trapped in You. It's about being stuck in a relationship and being too scared to leave. Uh, another one is called love bombing, and that's a term for when someone gives you lots of gifts and takes you on trips and does all these nice things for you to gain control over you, and then they start being really mean, and that's the way to like get you. And then the last one is called false apologies. That is when someone will keep messing up and being, you know, toxic to you and hurting you, and they just give you flowers and. You know, you think it's okay, but they just, they're just gonna do it again. 